Hey everybody, B Mall Donato here. These are the, uh, the leftovers from uh, pulling our wire into our SES. Um, I made another video about uh, installing industrial equipment. And you can find that video and it'll show you the pipe run that we had to pull these through. Um, they, they came out of an 800 amp panel and went over into our SES, our service entrance section. These are 600 KC mil wires. Um, before I said NCM, you know, these are 600 KC mil wires. You can see the way that we actually did this. We took about three strands off one side and three strands off the other side and then we cut out the center. That way, you could take these strands And while they're separated, you could bend these over on one side of the rope, and you could bend these ones on the other side of the rope, and then they connect onto the rope. You see that? And they connect in a really smaller way than just the cable itself, you know? So you, and you can smash that down with a hammer, pliers, or whatever, you know? You can make it smaller than the diameter of the wire itself. Just a couple of strands on each side. I mean, this is like 12 gauge strands. It, it, you can see it's the same way here. A couple of pieces that I left like that. But this is the size of the wire we're dealing with. It's a pretty big wire. As a comparison, I'm going to take this piece of wire right here and bring it over to my breaker panel. You can see the size of the wire that's coming into my breaker panel here. Now look at this size of wire. That's just one of those. There's three of them that goes into our panel. See, there's only two here because we only have 240 volts. But I'm dealing with three phase. And at the same point, this right here is high voltage. This is uh, applying 480 volts instead of 240 volts. So, we had to pull all these wires together inside of a four inch pipe. Well, and this is how we connected them. We pulled a rope into the pipes and we connected these wires to that rope. And we used duct tape to just duct tape the whole thing together. But when we do that, we start with the sticky side down in like one wrap. And then we flip the roll around and then we wrap it backwards. That way the sticky side is out. And we wrap it around all the wires, like, down to, like, about here. You know, we, you want a good foot and a half or so of wrap on there. And then you turn your roll around again, and then you roll it the right way around. Okay, so what that does is that makes it to where the sticky sides stick together. When you go to cut the tape off of the wires... It just comes off in one big sheath. It's, it doesn't stick to the wires. It just, it all comes off in one nice piece. Um, that's when you pull, finally pull it through. But I mean, it does help, you know, to have all that tape around there. At that distance, you know, a foot and a half probably about. And to have all these wires right here connected to the rope itself. You know, you, that's why you take and cut out the center core of the wire because you want this head to be as small as you possibly can. You actually want it to be smaller than the diameter of the wires that you're pulling in because well that's the easiest way to pull in wire. Anyways we pulled a rope into our conduits we tied this to it um, all of these were done like this and um, then I uh, wrapped it all up with duct tape, you know, the way I told you. And um, 
I hooked the rope to a scissor lift. And I pretty much just drove the scissor lift straight and it pulled all these wires right in through that pipe. And these are just the cut off ends, but you can see, I mean, it's a lot of wire right there. This is just the scrap end. And this piece alone right here is probably worth, in scrap value, like $20. We pulled in about, I don't know, it was about uh, somewhere close to 270 feet, all in all, and with both sets of wires that went through. It took two sets of these wires to run 800 amps to our panel. This little one right here, that one right there, that little one, that's the ground wire. That's the one that just shuts everything off if there's ever a contact between those wires and and your uh, the casing of any of your equipment or anything like that. It'll just hit this and it'll just shut everything down. Um, that wire right there, this one on the side, this is the neutral. It's gray. This is our orange wire. Oh no, this is our yellow wire. This is our orange wire. Oh, looks like this is another neutral wire. Anyways, there was a brown wire too. There was two sets and I split it with another guy that was working with us, so... I don't know. But, uh... That's some weight right there. I mean, that's probably... I don't know. Somewhere near a hundred dollars worth of wire right there. In in recycle value. Just that right there. So you can imagine what it takes to actually power these buildings. That's just recycle wire. It's just the little ends that got cut off the end. But you know what? We'd rather have these tiny little ends, and then this is actually a really good measurement. We'd rather have these tiny little ends like this than not have enough. Because if you don't have enough and you run that 100 and, or 300 foot circuit and, oh, I don't have enough. Well, now you have to buy all your wire all over again. And that's about a $5,000 mistake. So you're better off having something like this than another $5,000 you gotta pay. This is actually a really, really good measurement. And that's the excess off the ends. It's a real big wire, too. I mean, you know, you can see, compared to my hand, it's a pretty big wire. Anyways, that's how we did it. We just pulled it right in with a scissor lift and, um, and put it on jack stands and let it roll off and there you go. So that's how you make up a good head, you know. Cut off most of the wire itself. Just use a couple strands to pull it through with. You can make the head smaller than the wire size itself and you can get it through that pipe and you can get it where you need it to. This was really hard to get through the LB. We ended up needing to use a one inch pipe bender. And we had to use it to, we had to use the pipe bender to push the wire through the LB. Like we could pull it in so far, but there's only so far that you can pull this into an LB before your physical strength just cannot do it anymore. So we ended up using a pipe bender. And we hooked it on. So the hook was up here, and it was pushing the wire into the LB. Basically, hook the hook up here, and push the bender down, and it pushed the wire into the LB. That was the trick we learned today. 
while two people on the other side of this wire are pulling it into the SES. Somebody out here is out here with a one inch pipe bender. Pushing it into the LB as we were pulling it on the other side. So, it's pretty much our trick for getting these big, big, giant wires through an LB. It was a lot easier getting it through the box, I tell you that much right now. That junction box up top, I had a hard time with it uh, at first. If you look at my video about installing industrial equipment, uh, you'll see the junction box and you'll see uh, what I had to go through to get this through there. That was really easy. It took two of us. One person had to actually hold the, the, the wire up while the other person fed it through. And um, it worked. It kept the wire from twisting up inside the junction box, which was the first problem that we had. And I ended up having to twist the wires around and make them work, but... The second time around, everything just slipped right through. You gotta have two people. You gotta have one person holding the wire up and one person feeding it through in the right direction. Because if you don't feed it through in the right direction, it will twist up and there... It, it is hard. It is really hard to try to, to twist this stuff when it's already inside the box. Sorry my dog's messing with me. He's jumping up at me. He's licking me. Whatever. Yeah, that's where that rock came from. Uh, Bill! Come on. I know you like your new bling, but come on. What, you want to be a new video sensation? You want you want to be you want to be on YouTube, huh? Yeah? You want uh, this is, I don't know what's going on here. This is something. He just keeps chewing at it or something like that. He keeps scratching it. I don't know. Something he's doing. I got to figure that out. I think that is all it is. He's just scratching at it and chewing at it, and it's just getting worse. I might have to get one of them domes for him until this all clears up. But anyways, um, yep. That's how we do it. That's that big, giant wire that feeds those big, giant businesses that keep on pumping out stuff. So, Anyways, Meemaw Leonardo here, signing off. Later.